Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend the capabilities of your Amazon Fire TV Stick. Stay tuned. If you guys find this video or any of my other videos helpful, please leave a thumbs up down below and don't forget to click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified for all future and new videos. Guys, you guys know what this is. It's the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. You have a single micro USB port and an HDMI port, which means you can't use something naturally like a, uh, a remote like the new remote I recently reviewed, link in the description below, to give you the air mouse controls, full QWERTY keyboard, but you can get something which is known as an OTG cable and I have two to show you today. So you have something that looks like this or something that looks like this. Now they both serve the exact same feature. They both provide you the power to add an additional USB port but this is a much more compact design than this cable thing. If you are in a tight space you might not be able to use this versus this. Now if I take my Amazon Fire TV stick here and I plug in the uh, device, kind of looks like this. Now I can take my uh, USB receiver for my ZYT ZYF Z10 Air Mouse, plug it in, and I can still take the Amazon Fire TV Stick power cable and plug it in. Now I'll be able to have the capabilities of this remote to plug in. Now I'm going to show you but behind my actual TV and what it looks like. Okay guys, so here I am behind my actual TV. So if you were to just take your Amazon uh, Fire TV stick and plug it into your TV like so, right? Just like that, right? Uh, I have a, a dongle here because I can't fit my Fire TV stick up in here. Then what I would do is I would take my actual uh, um, power cord and just plug it in directly like this. And now I can't really, you know, use my my USB remote, but since I have my OTG uh, adapter, I'm going to go ahead and take it and just plug it in, right? And that looks like this. And now I'll take my power port for my my power cable for my Amazon Fire TV stick and plug it into the bypass. So it looks like it kind of looks like this behind my TV. Now, if you wanted to use the other version, it's the same thing. So I would take my Amazon Fire TV stick. I would take the uh, bypass, if I can grab the wrong correct side here, and plug it in. Right? And then I have two available ports. So the one USB port is going to be used for my uh, receiver, for my uh, USB mouse. And there you go. And then I can use the other end to plug in the power cable my Fire TV stick. Now this cable scenario is a little bit as you can see more uh, crowded because you have the slot extension thing but again it's only meant if you don't have room for the actual small one. Now whether using this one or the other one I'm going to show you what you can do with your Amazon Fire TV stick with this plugged in. And now that my Fire TV stick is all blown up I'm going to take this remote which is the ZYF and navigate. As you can see, it is much, much easier. Let's say, for example, I wanted to go to you know, the search menu here and search for an app. Let's, for example, instead of using the, you know, type in, for example, you know, uh, let's search for uh, weather, for example. I would go to the W, E, A, you know, that's really, really difficult. Now, what I can do is with this cable, I can take my remote, flip it over, and knock it open. W, E, A. T H E R. There you go. Within a couple seconds, well, I spelled it wrong. That's my bad. But you know, you can basically get what you want. So much, much easier. It's much easier to navigate. You know, uh, I can press the home button now easily. You know, menu, back, return, volume up, volume down, QWERTY keyboard. Everything works great. And now I don't need to use the built-in on-screen keyboard. I can use my back of my ZYF remote or any other remote to extend the capabilities of your Fire TV stick. But it's not just for that. You can actually plug in a USB hard drive. 
You can plug in a thumb drive, you can plug in a USB to Ethernet adapter, and get your Fire TV stick hardwired to the internet. Lots of capabilities you can do. It's not just for plugging in a remote. You can actually use it to plug any USB device that you wouldn't normally have without the OTG cable. And there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.